Weissog is a manufacturer of precision stampings, insert moldings, and we also do quite a bit in the interconnect business. We've been in business for over uh, 40 years, and our primary markets are the automotive and medical industries, as well as the aerospace industries. Our medical device customers are primary OEMs that most people would know. We make components, stampings, that go in um, in different assemblies uh, that the customers have, as well as overlay molded assemblies uh, for surgical devices. The medical parts that we manufacture here, a lot of them are precision stampings. Here at Weissog, we've been uh, collecting data for over a decade using video technology, uh, as well as probing and laser technology, but it was individual contact probing, not scanning and working in early engineering development, um, there was a large demand for larger quantities of, of data. So the two technologies uh, were, were ideal. It gave us the best of both worlds where we could, with the line scan laser, collect very large quantities of data where we can compare the data to the model as well as the accuracy associated with the scanning probe technology. Most people, when they think of the line scan laser technology, they primarily think of reverse engineering applications. We use it a little bit differently here at Wysog, we, where we actually use it to collect very large quantities of data in early engineering development, where the part isn't quite exactly where we want it, and it allows um, our engineering team, as well as the engineering teams of the customer, to view 100,000 data points on a part, for example, um, where they can actually see areas that we maybe weren't previously focused on. The uh, accuracy of the line scan laser is ideal for early engineering prototyping where we're collecting very large quantities of data. As soon as the part gets closer to manufacturing, we typically switch to the scanning probe technology where we're able to measure a lot of profiles to the model. One of the big benefits after purchasing the Acura, we have to look before we had the Acura. What we were doing was uh, we were making the stampings in this particular case and then sending them out to a supplier that was actually scanning them for us because there was an engineering demand uh, for that particular data. That amount of time took up to a week and sometimes it even took longer than a week. Now after we have the Acura, I can collect that same amount of information for the engineers in under 15 minutes. Um, another benefit was we actually received a supplier innovation award from one of our key OEMs and a lot of that was due to the data collected uh, from the Acura as well as the two Contour G2s in production where we were able to collect the data and get the product to market faster. Some of the benefits of having a Zeiss system, one is the model-based programming. It's extremely powerful, specifically when I can collect the large quantities of data or profiles and then compare them uh, to the model and give engineers whisker plots that show exactly how far the different deviations of the part are and, and in what regions. And there's always data naysayers at different particular companies where um, they may question data and, and I welcome the questioning. Um, typically these people are now big fans of the Zeiss machine because we've been able to uh, measure it with ever their traditional method of measurement was and then take the data uh, and compare uh, even with larger advantages than they previously had.